Hi, and welcome to my review of the Heckler & Koch P30L 9mm gun. Uh, I purchased this gun two weeks ago and I decided to uh, put like a little movie on the uh, internet on YouTube uh, talking a little bit about the uh, uh, main features of this gun. Um, I did find a lot of other movies about the P30 and P30L but um, I just figured I add something of my own. Alright, the 9mm Heckler & Koch P30L. Um, it's got its name P30L because the barrel is actually slightly longer than the standard P30. To be exact, the barrel is 4.45 inches long, which is 11.3 centimeters and the regular P30 is 3.85 inches long which is 9.8 centimeter. Uh, the gun was, uh, as I understand it, uh, developed for the Norwegian police by HK. It is actually also in use by the Swiss police, the German customs and the German Bundespolizei which is a little bit like the FBI. Um, rumor has it that it is also in the race to replace the Dutch police's Walter P5 gun. I do not know if that's true, but uh, I guess we'll find out uh, in time. Now, what can I tell you about the gun? It is a uh, 9mm, uh, has a modified browning locking system. It's double action and single action. The receiver has with many guns nowadays is made out of a high-grade fiber reinforced polymer. Uh, we would call it probably plastic. I don't know if that's the technically correct term for it, but uh, it's really lightweight and supposedly very durable. The gun has a uh, ambidextrous uh, magazine and slide release. Uh, the slide release being right here on both sides. sides. Um, uh, the uh, magazine release is actually on the trigger guard right here, also ambidextrous so you can operate it with either your thumb or your uh, finger. Uh, some people don't like that, they like to have a uh, button for the uh, magazine release but uh, I, uh, I don't care that much. Um, it uh, has a standard military uh, support rail or Picatinny rail for uh, technical appliances. I myself intend to buy a uh, laser for it, a green, uh, maybe a green viridian laser. Um, uh, I'll probably show you in the future when I uh, purchased it. Um, what else? It comes with two magazines in the box, both with a 15 round capacity. So if you would uh, load the gun, it would have a theoretical 15 plus 1 capacity. It has an automatic hammer and firing pin safety, a loaded chamber indicating indicator and a decocking latch, uh, which is right here. So when you uh, cock uh, the gun, let's uh, do that right now. Uh, then you can decock it really safely by just pushing this little latch right here. Fixed sights, uh, they are treated with a glow-in-the-dark paint. So if you put, uh, put this in the light long enough and you go to the range, you'll find that they're actually glowing. Um, one of the best features I think that the gun comes with is the fact that it has actually uh, anatomically optimized grips and interchangeable backstrap. It actually comes out of the box with three uh, backstraps, uh, small, medium and large. I've got the large one on right now. And also uh, interchangeable grips, which I think is a pretty cool feature actually. That way you can actually uh, make the gun fit your hand real good. So, um, what else can I tell you about the gun? Field stripping, let me uh, show that to you in a, right now. It's really easy. Um, take out the magazine, 
Um, basically, there's only uh, four parts to the gun that need cleaning when you uh, field strip it. It's uh, the slide, the barrel, the recoil spring, and the receiver. Uh, basically, uh, the slide release does not come off with this gun, unlike other uh, guns. So when you field strip it, you just uh, align this with the slide release, then you push it through like that. Let me show you. And just a little bit further, here we go. Here's the slide release coming off. A little bit of a red indicator there. That's it. Slide it off. Then you have the receiver, which is insanely light, I think. It's really funny. The uh, recoil spring comes off like this. The barrel also really easy. And there you have it. Four pieces to the gun. That's it. Putting it back, reverse order. Put in the slide. Put in the recoil spring like this. Line it up like that. Then put the slide and the barrel and the recoil spring back on the receiver like this. I need to put that. Line it up again. Right there. Push it back. That's it. Easy as can be. I think the gun gives you uh, good value for your money. Uh, accuracy, I only have been able to take it to the range twice and I'm not the best shot but as you can see it produces nice little groups uh, these are all 9, 110 right there um, I think uh, if uh, you get used to the gun you will improve uh, with that as well uh, all in all I like the gun good value for money. I like the fact that you can uh, really uh, uh, make it fit exactly as you would like. So that's it, my short review of the Heckler & Koch B30L. Maybe I forgot something. If you have any questions just uh, uh, leave a comment on YouTube and I'll try to answer it as uh, good as possible. Um, also, thanks to the other people uh, putting up their videos about this gun because I think it's uh, nice to uh, find more information about it. Well, that's it. That wraps it up. I um, uh, hope to show you a video later, later this year, once I've purchased my laser sight. So, that's it for now. Thank you very much.